Good afternoon. My name is Pamela Johnston. I'm from Aiken, South Carolina, and I was referred to Cohen by a psychiatrist because she was the one who suspected that I had toxic mold poisoning. So in February of 2015, 2015, I came to Cohen, Cohen and started being tested for different allergies and explained to them that I was having extreme migraine headaches so frequently and so debilitating that it had just affected my attitude in my life to the point that I just wasn't sure that it was, it was going to be worth going on anymore. So I came here to tell Dr. Herbert about my headaches and she evaluated me from top to bottom. I had many, many, many tests that no other doctors had done. And I do want to point out that I had been to the Mayo Clinic the year before and they found nothing wrong and said everything was fine and I just needed to learn cognitive behavior therapy for my headaches. So I came here and I spent two weeks as opposed to four weeks in the detox center getting rid of toxic mold. We discovered that I had that after the mold showed up in my blood test. My husband had the home tested and uh, the mold levels in our bedroom were 14 times what they should have been. And over the course of living in that home for 10 years, it had just taken its toll. So in January, I went to bed and I told him I was just sick. I didn't know what was wrong. So we came up here and I stayed here for two weeks and did uh, the saunas and the foot baths and all the while really wondering if that was it. So Dr. Herbert sent me home with bunches and bunches and bunches of supplements, no drugs whatsoever. Uh, in her testing, she discovered I had chronic kidney disease, I had developed Hashimoto's disease, and I had an intestinal infection, none of which the other doctors had discovered. So today, it is October 27, 2015. I have just completed walking 63 holes of golf. I wake up every day excited. I no longer feel like I'm just getting old. I have lots of energy to play with my grandchild. It has been a real eye-opening experience for me to explore the possibility of treating the entire person mentally as well as physically as opposed to just isolating the symptom and treating that one symptom. So I can't say enough good things about Dr. Herbert. What a kind, caring, and knowledgeable physician she is and how happy I am I came here in February. I hope you'll listen to this.